Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi-boot USB so that you can store multiple operating systems in the same USB for installation. In this example I'm going to be using Linux distros but this should work for Windows as well. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is download the application we're going to be using which is an application called Yummy. You can get Yummy by going to www.pendrivelinux.com slash yummy dash multiboot dash usb dash creator. If you go to the main page and just scroll down, you'll see there's two versions of it. There is the Yummy Legacy BIOS only. I tried this recently and it did not work for me. And there's the UEFA Yummy, UEFA and BIOS edition. So that's the version that we're going to download. If you just scroll down a bit, you can click the download button. I've already done this. And that's all we need to get started. If you do already have downloaded ISOs of the operating systems that you wish to install, then that's a bonus. If not, you can go and get them just now. Once you try and run Yummy, AC kicks in, so just click yes. You'll get a disclaimer, which you can read. Typical software licensing, blah, blah, blah. Read it at your leisure and click I agree if you do. And then here we are at actual main application. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my drive which is actually a 16 gig drive, I don't know why it's only showing it's 14. It gives me the option to view or remove installed distros, wipe the disk which is always good if you're creating a new one and then here you get a choice of your operating system you wish to install. So in my case I'm installing Ubuntu server so when I do that it narrows down which ISO I need. You can click the download link and it'll give you the download link or open the download link for you. This used to take you directly to the ISO, it no longer does. It just takes you to the actual download page. So let's just close that for now. In this case, I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to click Browse. And there we go. We have Ubuntu 18.04, which is an older version of Ubuntu. So I'm going to click Open. And then I'm literally going to click Create. As you see there, I just click Browse and point it to the ISO that I already had here. Once I click Create, it gives me a warning about losing all data on the drive. Important to prevent loss of data, you must back up data from the partitions. Tie to disk 2 before proceeding. Yummy UFA is ready to perform following actions. Complete wipe the drive, create an MBR on it, create multiboot label, install Ubuntu server. Are you positive at drive E in the USB drive? Yes. Double check using disk management.msc and make sure click yes to perform this. So I'm just going to click yes. It again gives you another warning, so I'm going to click yes. And there we go, it says the process is complete, so I click next. It asks me if I want to add more ISOs or distros. Now, sometimes when you click yes, it actually crashes. You have to go back in, but in any case, you've just come back in here. Okay, with the drive still in. If you want to install an additional operating system, you simply select operating system. You can click show all. As you see, this uses a Ubuntu star server star.iso to look for that if you're you change the names at ISOs, you can simply click all shown and then click browse and it will show everything. Here you can see I have Hyper-V ISOs, Windows 10 ISOs, uh, Debian ISO and of course the Ubuntu one I'm wishing to add. So I'm going to click add and then I'm going to click create. Okay and again that's finished. I'm just going to click next. I'm going to click yes again. I'm going to show you can use different distributions. So in this case I'm going to select Debian. Show it all, click browse, because I use a CD version of Debian. Click OK, click create. And there we go. Click next, then click no, and then it gives you the finish screen. Click finish, and you can now eject your USB drive and use it in other systems. I don't have an easy way to capture a laptop booting from a USB, I'm going to try that. However, worst case scenario is I'll point a camera at a laptop screen and show you this in action. Okay, so I'm going to turn my laptop on and I'm going to try and get into the BIOS by hitting F11. This is different for each machine. As you can see, it has a UEFA boot mode for the OCZ Rally, which is the name of the pen drive that's currently connected. So if I hit return on that, it boots to the pen drive. And if I hit return on Linux distributions, it shows me 
Ubuntu 18.4, Ubuntu 20.4, and Debian 10.10. .10. And if I select any of these, the installer runs. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.